A couple of days ago we went to this mountain called Tilapio and uh, the plan was to stay there for, for one night in a mountain hut. Hike up three hours to the top. It's hard to access good back country easily because it's so freaking deep. So splitboard is a, is a good tool for accessing back country here and getting into places fast. Splitboarding came into my life like three or four years ago and it just changed everything. I and mean, for splitboarding is freedom. You can go wherever you want. Be on the, on the road and then you look up to a peak and you think it will take you two days to get there and you're there in three hours. When you're here in Japan, I mean, it's armpit deep snow. You get off your snowboard, you can't move one meter. There's, it's impossible. And you just change, you got your split board and you can just go straight through it. It was a beautiful day and then we came up to this hut and it was just an awesome place to hang out. Unfortunately, we're a bit unlucky with the snow because it has been warm plus wind. We did some small stuff, tried to find where the best snow is since it was quite wind blown from the previous day. So then we went to the hut and uh, stayed the night. Takumi just killed it with the kitchen skills he has in the hut and we were playing some Japanese games and just having fun and then freezing our asses off. There was no heating or anything so we just had like good sleeping bags from, from Takumi and we wake up and it's not sunny anymore. Clouds are rolling in fast and uh, it starts snowing. Can't really go anywhere high alpine since we can't see anything. And then it seems like to start developing in, into a blizzard and snowstorm. So we start heading down and cruise down the trees. So the riding didn't really happen on the hot mission. You can't change what Mother Earth is bringing to you. So you can just stay happy and it was an unforgettable experience, although we didn't get to ride any. Yesterday was one of my best tree riding days ever. You don't get one or two of those in a season. This tree run is amazing what we did. There's pillows in there, there's like small shoots and you can't ask for, for much more. I definitely hope we come back next season and I definitely think that Japan will be the place as well in the future when I stop professional snowboarding that would be a place that I would go to. We found some lifetime friends here for sure and I would just want to come back over and over and visit them again and again. <laughs>